Happy Holidays! Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, where the cards and the stars come together to bring you spiritual and psychic insights for your life. You can subscribe, hit the little bell below for notifications of new videos, and prepare for the new year with a special discount on private readings. Just go to my website, internetpsychicreadings.com. The link is below. Now, let's take a closer look at the power of the tarot cards and stars. Sagittarius, the card for the first week of the month, is the sun. And the sun card is the most optimistic and happy card of the tarot deck. And interestingly enough, Sagittarius is the most optimistic and happiest sign of the zodiac, so it's a perfect fit. <laughs> so, so Sagittarius, get ready for fun. Mercury is in your first house. He'll increase your mental activity and your ability to communicate clearly. Now, this can help you by eliminating confusion and bringing a new sense of direction to your personality. You'll have Neptune down in your fourth house, bringing you a deep sense of spiritual awareness. And this can connect you to a deep sense of wisdom and understanding. And you should use your intuition because it is empowered. And, and Venus is back here in the house of the spiritual too. So Neptune's trying up to Venus in the 12th house brings you the power to use your dreams in life. So listen very carefully in dreams or meditations to what is coming to your heart and to your mind. This is a very special time for you. The card for the second week is the Six of Wands, and this is thought to be the card of victory. And anyone who has survived this year and has prospered in any way or done anything and completed anything surely deserves a sense of victory because this has been a challenging and difficult year. And Sagittarius, you have the sun in your first house and this brings a lot of extra energy to your personality and your ability to express yourself. So this is a very good time to let people know what you think and why. Just don't be too pushy. <laughs> now, Neptune down in the fourth house can bring some conflicts because she is squared to your son. So be careful with family and career issues. Make sure uh, you take you know, your responsibilities um, seriously. Now, you'll be helped because of, there is a stimulating Venus-Pluto sextile that connects your 12th, your 12th house to your second house of resources. So you'll be able to step away from the world and energize your inner being and your inner spirituality. And there is also a wonderful trine to Mars. Now that is a very stimulating aspect. So it'll allow you to use your sensuality and your creativity. So since I said sensuality, uh, do be a little bit careful with your energy. Be wise. Sagittarius, the card for the third week is the Magician. Now, um, this is the true card of alchemy. You can see all of the elements of the tarot deck down here on his table. He is reaching up for inspiration, bringing it down to earth, and you can see the inspiration coming down upon him. So this is a card where you can manifest what is above to what is below or to what is on the earth. Now, this week begins with a new moon in Sagittarius. So you have the moon, Mercury, the sun, all in Sagittarius. You have Venus also going into Sagittarius. Now, this is your time to reach out and meet new people. You need to pamper yourself a little bit too. If you need to really buy some new clothes or you know take care of yourself, go to a lunch, go to a, a spa, whatever, um, it's really time to think about your appearance and how you are showing yourself to the world. 
That's very important at this point in time. So take care of yourself. Now the true alchemy is down here. You can see Jupiter and Saturn. They are both in Capricorn, but they're both moving this week into the sign of Aquarius. Now Jupiter uh, has been in Capricorn for the year, Saturn for two and a half, and Pluto since about 2008. And this is all the heaviness that has affected our system, the, the, um, the, the virus, all the problems with government and things of that nature, everything laying heavy on our heads. That is moving and that is fabulous because now a whole new energy can come in. But we need to use the lessons of the past and that is Saturn and we need to use the opportunities, enthusiasm, and optimism of Jupiter. So we need to take what we have learned in the past so we can create a new future success where we can use the knowledge that we have, we can assimilate it, and we can change our lives with it. The card for the fourth week is the world. Now, the world is a card of completion, and obviously this is the la last week of the year, so it is completing the year. Once again, we see all the elements of the tarot here, and this is really a, a, a very important cycle change, and it'll bring the energy of the sun and Mercury down into the second house. Now, that brings a renewal of your resources, it can help you make more money. And there is a wonderful, vibrant trine from the Sun and Mercury to Uranus in your sixth house. So this can bring opportunities to establish new routines and even revolutionize your work, you know, bring, bring new technology into your work to make your life easier. So develop your ideas and Show your brilliance to the world. Don't be too crazy about that, though. Now, Venus transiting your first house, and she's right here, uh, brings a new sense of enjoyment to your personality. And you almost have like a um, magnetic uh, aura around and about you. But she is squared to Neptune, and Neptune is with the moon. So you have to be a little bit careful with any conflicts between family and business, and you have to make sure you're meeting your responsibilities. And if you feel that you have done all those things, then go out and play and have a great time. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores. And it may help you on your spiritual journey. I'd like to thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Remember to subscribe because these videos are free and hit the little bell for notifications. And for a special offer, visit my website, internetpsychicreadings.com.